Welcome to the world of infrastructure as code, where efficiency meets automation and complexity is tamed. In this journey, we leverage the power of Ansible, the automation engine that simplifies the deployment and management of IT infrastructure. With Ansible, configuration management becomes a breeze. Say goodbye to manual setups and embrace the speed and consistency of automated deployments. But what about securing and optimizing your applications in the multi-cloud? Enter F5 Distributed Cloud. F5 Distributed Cloud ensures your applications are not just deployed, but are secure, scalable, and always available. It is the next level of application delivery. Now imagine the power of seamless integration, Ansible, and F5 Distributed Cloud working together, orchestrating your infrastructure effortlessly. Today, we invite you to witness the synergy of infrastructure as code in action. Watch as we deploy F5 Distributed Cloud CEs, or customer edges, within VMware vSphere, establishing a fully prepared cluster ready to propel your applications to new heights. So now we're going to log into our consoles, including VMware vSphere, F5 Distributed Cloud, and Ansible Automation Platform. When you go into there, we'll see that we already have pre-set up templates, meaning that we've already imported our code from GitHub and set up our template for the XC Day Zero operations. So next thing we're going to do is check out our variables for deploying this out. We have our OVA image, which is our website for getting our XC OVA image, our XC namespace tenants and password configurations, and then all of the information that we need to connect to vCenter, including how to the, the host name, the passwords, the data stores, the switches, the, the port groups to the specific switches, the resource pool names, all of that has been populated in here so that we can connect to it properly. The next thing we have is our Ansible deployment information. So what is gonna get populated in our vApp properties, including our IP addresses, our longitude, latitude, our build count for our cluster, the host name, the template names, everything is there. So as we launch the code, we're going to start seeing the OVA image getting downloaded into the container environment, the um, execution environment that is used by Ansible Automation Platform. Once that's done, it will start deploying out the OVA from the execution environment to the vSphere environment. And we've sped up time to make sure that this goes a little bit faster because it can take a little bit of time. Once that's done, it will add a secondary NIC to each one of those VMs. That is done just in case if you need a multi-NIC configuration or a fleet for a fleet inside of XC or F5 distributed cloud. And the other thing it's going to do is modify the vApp properties for each one of those virtual machines. It's going to give them their IP addresses, the token for connecting to the F5 distributed cloud console for my specific tenant. And it's going to give it all of the gateway information and the routing information, the longitude, latitude, all of that stuff that was in those variables. It's populating that information and making it so that those virtual machines have all of that information. So when they start up, they start reporting to the console. And they're already set up with static IPs and all of that. So we sped up time again, we've powered on the machines and we're registering them to the XE console. Once all three have been registered to that console, because we set up a cluster of three inside of the variables, it will then wait until all three of them are there. And then after they're all registered, they will accept the registration and they will then move from the pending registration state into the other registrations area where they'll show they are admitted, which means they are part of a cluster now. They are now starting their provisioning process. So if we go take a look at sites, we'll be able to go and search for our specific cluster that we just created, which is called the XC Automation Cluster RHEL Demo. And you can see that the system health is at 0%. But as time goes on, we wait about 45 minutes, we'll start seeing that the system health is gone up to 65%. And if we get about 10 more minutes, it will be complete. But you can see that the connectivity to the REs, which are regional edges, are now happening. The IPsec tunnels are working. The system health is increasing over that 10 minutes of time. So once we've reached 100%, we can take a look at the system metrics and see that traffic is flowing to the regional edges. We can go under our site status, make sure that we're connected to those regional edges and how they're connected. And we can go under our nodes to see all of the memory usage, disk usage, CPU usage, all of those things are reporting in as they were intended to. 
So what I've showed you today is how we can use the power of Ansible automation platform with F5 Distributed Cloud, deploy out customer edges via infrastructure as code, and being able to start from just an OVA to a fully deployed F5 Distributed Cloud cluster in your VMware vSphere environment in about an hour. And if you are interested in downloading this code, it is freely available on the F5 Dev Central page. And if you have any questions about any of this automation, feel free to reach out to your F5 representative. And I hope this code and demonstration will help you with your automation journey. Thank you for your time.